Cisco Identity Services Engine, Network Device Groups, and Network Access Devices. So we've logged into ICE and we're going to go ahead and you can see in 3.0 the dashboard has certainly changed. We're going to go to Administration and we're going to go to Network Device Groups. We're going to go ahead and click Add. We can see a list of defaults that are already there and we'll go ahead and give it a name. In this case, we're gonna use this for VPN and specifically ASA. You can go ahead and give this a description. In my case, this is gonna be used for remote access VPN devices. And we will go ahead and add it to the all device group or types and go ahead and hit save. Now we'll just jump over and we'll add a network access device. So this is going to be the ASA that's actually terminating remote access VPN. So that pre-configuration on the ASA is already done. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I might include a snippet or link in the comments on how to get that set up. So we'll go ahead and give that a name. We'll give an IP address here of the actual device. Network profile, we'll leave it as Cisco, model name, software version. You can go ahead and set those if you like. Device type here, we're going to use this and we're going to select the one that we just created. Now we're going to use this in authentication um, and potentially authorization profiles. So it's good to group these into something meaningful that you can use perhaps in uh, identifying assets and certain policies that you want them to hit. Change of authorization, everything looks good here. Nothing to change. I guess we could put uh, maybe a DNS name in here if we like. We'll go ahead and put in the FQDN. And that looks pretty good, right? Uh, we could go ahead and do TACACs and some other things, but really we're focused on just adding the device. So the network access device as well as the network device group. And that's it.